Given this opportunity as the first black director for this franchise, how did you first feel when you got that call? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> when I got the call, it was it was in a weird spot. I'll be honest, it was 2020, so it was like going through like a really dark time uh, with the family and everything like that. So uh, it took a turn. I wanted to make something uplifting, and Transformers felt that way. But as a black director, it felt amazing. You know what I mean? There's not too many of us doing these kind of franchises. It's probably me and maybe like Ryan Coogler who's done something this huge with this kind of budget and this kind of scale, uh, who's also a friend of mine. And um, yeah, now that I think about it, it's kind of crazy to say out loud. Yeah, there's only like a couple of us. Yeah. We'll let that sink in for a little bit. <laughs> Did you ever feel pressure when you were given the green light to make this film as a black man? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I think more so for me than I did like the Transformers world. Like I felt like I was always gonna make a good movie, but I felt like if I was gonna do it, I wanted to make sure there were themes that fit us. You know what I mean? Like what were we going through? So you see with Dom and both Ant, man, you see the glass ceiling held over them. Like the way society's looking at them and seeing them in a very low, very low perspective. And you know, you see the movie, they become heroes at the end of the day, you know, even if the world doesn't know it. And that felt like a really strong thing for me. And I wanted to make sure that it was black and brown people in front of the camera showcasing that. You also highlighted African-American culture in a big way by setting this in the 90s. Why did you decide to do that? Uh, it was crazy during the 90s. It was beautiful. Like, the culture was very vibrant. Uh, music was taking a turn, whether it be hip-hop and R&B. There was a lot of artists and actors that exploded during the 90s, and movies started to come out heavy during the 90s. And uh, you'll see we pay homage to all of it. You know, everything from the Wu-Tangs, the Poetic Justice, the, the Juice movie with Ernest Dickerson, who's a black filmmaker. Like, I try to highlight as much of that as possible.